What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from the beautiful white sand beaches of Zanzibar off the coast of Tanzania. Today's video is five ways to feel better when all hell is breaking loose. So way number one is reach for the low hanging fruit. And what I mean by that is when you are experiencing sadness, when you're experiencing a breakdown, which we all do, by the way, nobody gets out of this no matter how awesome they make their life appear to be on Instagram or Facebook or anything else, nobody gets out of feeling sadness, nobody gets out of anger, nobody gets out of any of these things. This is a part of life. This is a part of what it means to be human. One of the most effective ways to bring yourself out of the so-called funk is to reach for the low-hanging fruit. That means reach for the stuff that you know makes your heart smile. Reach for the places and, and, and do the things and hang out with the people that you know make you feel better. And so instead of trying to go from zero to a hundred, meaning I'm completely depressed and sad and in a funk to, oh my God, I'm in this joyous mood, which a lot of people are under the illusion they can do. And you kind of, you can. The reality is the truth for most people is that it's a, it's a scale and we, that scale takes some time. You don't just go from, holy crap, my friend just died, or I'm, I was sick, or, or you know, my boyfriend or girlfriend broke up with me, to this is the best time of my life. That doesn't always or usually happen. So how to, to move that scale and get back to the truth of your being is you reach for the things that feel good to you. So for me, when I'm feeling down, I go surfing, I go to the ocean. For me, when I'm feeling down, I go and tickle and tackle Alexi and just be silly. For me, when I'm feeling down, I call my mom and I just tell her I love her and I appreciate her for all the work that she did. And I call my dad and I do the same thing. For me, when I'm feeling down, watching um, When Nature Calls, Ace Ventura, makes me feel so much better. When I, when I watch um, What About Bob, right? A lot of people don't know what this movie is, but I think it's absolutely hilarious. But when I watch that movie, I feel better. And so, as uh, I'm giggling more and I'm talking to my friends and all of that stuff is happening. What ends up happening is, is unconsciously the funk that I was in, I, I start to move out of. Way number two to feeling better when all hell is breaking loose is to breathe. Guys, so many of us don't actually breathe. When we're feeling stressed, overwhelmed, or have anxiety, one of the first things that goes, and here's a prime example of that, if, when you're on a roller coaster or someone scares you, you know, someone pops out and you <gasps> right? And then the breath stays up here. And then most of the day you're working on adrenaline and you end up with adrenal fatigue. You end up tiring yourself out so much that it makes it a thousand times worse. So when experiencing all hell breaking loose, make sure you just take a moment to breathe. Take a moment to just listen and just breathe. Just pay attention to your breath. I promise you, it seems so simple, but it will change everything. Because what happens is, is, is when we go into fight or flight, which happens more often than people would like to think, the brain gets flooded. And when it's flooded, you have less options, less choices. And so breathing deep into your diaphragm, deep into your belly, creates more oxygen in the brain and more oxygen in the brain gives you an opportunity to make a different decision. Got it? Way number three to Switching up the game when all hell is breaking loose is drink more water. Also, very simple, most people don't do it. Most people on our planet, especially um, westernized people, are very dehydrated. They walk around drinking a bunch of soda and a bunch of crap that doesn't actually serve them. And so, when you're experiencing yourself in breakdown and you want to die, drink a bunch of water. You should have to pee every like 30 minutes. Like, overdo it, got it? Simple, drink a bunch of water. Way number four, also simple, but most people don't do it, and I'm telling you this, listen to me. If you are in a position where you're feeling like really off, make sure you do this. And that is to get at least eight hours of sleep for one week straight. I'm gonna say it again, eight hours of sleep, mandatory for one week straight, because despite all of the hustle hard and 5 a.m. club and all that stuff, Awesome. If you want to be in the 5 a.m. club, do that, but make sure you get eight hours of sleep because most people are so damn tired that it, it, 
affects everything else. You can't be awesome if you're so damn sleepy that you're running on adrenaline, therefore you're not breathing, therefore you're overwhelming and stressing your body and your mind and your spirit and all of that. But you can't stress the spirit because the spirit is bigger than all of that. But you know what I mean. All of that is screwing you up and keeping you in the self-made prison that you've been sitting in. And so the way out of that is to make sure you get at least eight hours of sleep. And the last way, way number five, is to tell somebody. Guys, I, I know that it, it can feel like we're in this thing alone. I know that it's hard sometimes and, and you know, in this high-tech, low-touch society that we've um, inherited and created, it's it's easy to feel like you don't have any friends and that there's nobody there for you. But even if it's people on the internet, which I, I absolutely love the internet, it's fantastic. Reach out to somebody and tell them how you're feeling. We are social beings. We came into this world through our mothers, into a tribe, into a family. And even if it's not your, your given family, reach out and tell your, your chosen family. That means those best friends, that coworker, that one person you feel like you can trust or somebody, tell somebody, do not suffer in silence alone because you never know, A, what that may do for somebody else. You sharing your vulnerability, your transparency about where you are may be such a big gift for them that they thank you so much and give so much gratitude to you that you end up feeling better because you shared. Guys, it's all, we're all so deeply connected, I promise you. I love you so much. Blessings and blessings from this beautiful, amazing place, Tanzania, Zanzibar. You know, I could go off on a tangent about this, but so many people think Africa is just this war-torn place with kids with flies on their face all the time. And that's not the truth. We've been sold a lie. But despite the lie, I'm here having a good ass time. I love you guys so much. Blessings and blessings. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice. It's going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Ooh, ooh.